Okay, so it's a rough old day out there, but today is the day I'm going to start this bike here. Uh, I've, uh, this is the second time I've actually built it. Uh, first was back in 2016-2017. Um, it's a 2005 ZRX. Um, it got a full makeover then, but since that I have built another one. And now this one here has been back on the bench for a while. Uh, as you can see, there's different carbs in it. There's these uh, Yoshimura TMR flat slide carbs in it. Um, made these wee uh, titanium knobs and adjusters. And there's a manual chain tensioner in it. I've got uh, uh, changed over to stick coils. I've uh, made a lot of titanium parts myself. Different swinging arm in it. And... Um, actually uh, changed over the the oil pan in it too for a for we'll get this light under here for um, a much flatter one from a a, uh, a Kawasaki concourse so there's a bit of work involved in that um, I'll be keen to and I made wee adapters and uh, for the uh, for the oil lines and things so um Hopefully I'll get this thing started and uh, secondly, hopefully there'll be no oil leaks um, coming from that area. But anyway, um, shouldn't really, well, I don't know how the carbs are set up straight out of the box. I haven't heard them um, in operation before. Everything's pretty much as, uh, as it came along. With me making a new choke knob and a new idle adjust knob. Um, mightn't be just 100% right. Repainted this Kirker pipe. So there might be a wee bit of smoke uh, come off it. You know as it sort of um, uh, bakes on. There's oil in it and uh, coolant. And a brand new battery. And um, some... Uh, um, fuel from the um, auxiliary tank, a new battery, and uh, let's see, right, let's just give it a go here, okay, oh great, ignition's on, that's a plus, <laughs> right, let's hit the button, oh yes, first kick, second or two. You should know they were uh, they were flat slides all right you hear the the clatter off them um, carbon fiber uh, shrouds titanium uh, bolts and just loads of bits and pieces and stuff you know axles and still a bit of work to do to get it finished but um uh, I'm glad it started so easily, without any difficulty at all. Right, give it a wee blip. Check to see if there's in any uh, any oil leaks. Right, let's see. Because I I made that wee adapter there. Um, the oil pipe had to be shortened and uh, different banjo bolts and everything that I made for it. Uh, yeah, everything looks to be. Let's see. Oh, okay.
great to hear a bike going, you know, when you have, when you have had her on the bench for a while and you haven't uh, haven't actually heard it uh, starting, you know, so it's very satisfying to hear it going. I'll give it another wee. Sounds great. Very pleased with that. Well, I ah, see there's a wee bit of um, see a wee bit of smoke there. Well, that's coming off the exhaust, obviously, because you know the exhaust been repainted and stuff. So I'll I'll not start it uh, for another wee while because um, I just want that to sort of go through a few cycles of um, of uh, bacon on. And um, uh, the last time what I done was started it and uh, there were normal CV carbs on it and uh, I had to balance them and everything and um, in doing so one pipe was running hotter than the other and it kind of burnt the, the paint on it a bit you know so but that that seems to be that seems to be spot on so um, I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea and I think that's I'm pretty happy with that. Okay guys, thanks a million. Another one. I'll just have to get the body work and different other bits and pieces done on it and that'll be it done. But apart from that, very, very happy with that. I'll check it again in another wee while to see if there's any oil leaks or anything. But um, fingers crossed. And so far so good. Everything seems to be fine. Thanks again. Bye.